Hi everybody, this is Anastasia from Strapi and today I will demonstrate to you a new Strapi feature, Media Library Folders. This feature will allow you to organize your assets in a better way. Let's have a look at it. Let's go to our Media Library and first let's add some assets. I'm going to add images, but of course you can add videos, audios, documents and audio files, um, literally any media asset you want. So let's upload those images and let's say we want to create a website about gastronomy and different dishes from different cuisines. There we go. Now we can see that I have dishes from all over the world and it would be nice to group them a little bit. It would allow me to easily find the right image because I may forget the name or I may forget when the image was added. So I won't be able to find it using the search or the filters. Now, to add a new folder, I'm going to click on this button. I'm going to name it, let's say, French Cuisine. There we go. Now I'm also going to add other folders that will allow me to group these images according to different cuisines and types of food. When creating a folder, I can also select where it's going to be located. So either in media library or inside another folder, and I can create an unlimited number of nested folders, but let's get to that later. So I'm going to add one last one, one last folder. So it's, there we go. And now let's group our images and put them in different folders. So let's start with the Japanese cuisine. I think it's here click on move and select the right destination. There we go. So if we go back to the first page, we can see that the Japanese cuisine contains five assets. And let's continue the sorting. Now let's move uh, different Ukrainian dishes. Next, let's go for desserts. And I think we have the French cuisine left, but um, I would like to also move the desserts folder since it only contains French desserts to the French cuisine. So I can move not only images, but I can also move a folder inside another folder. That's going to be possible. So let's move everything to the French cuisine. There we go. Everything is sorted. So we can see that French cuisine contains one folder and eight assets. We can see when it was created. We can see, uh, we can change its name at any time and we can change its location. We can also delete it, of course. And if I want to be even more detailed, I can go into the search and of course I can create another uh, folder to group my assets. It is also possible to find the necessary folder using a search. Let's say I want to find that desserts folder if I forgot where it is. There we go. And I, if I want to find any folder containing the cuisine, where I can do that as well. So that's quite convenient in case you're in a rush and you com completely forgot where your asset is or where your folder is, you can find that in an easy way. Now let's see how uh, these media folders work when we want to add content to our website. So let's create a new restaurant and let's add a cover photo. I will go to the French cuisine folder. And if I'm looking for a dessert, I can go to this folder and uh, choose the right image. And if I decide that actually this image should not be in this folder, I can move it right from the content manager. So let's say I want to put it just in the French cuisine folder. I can do this, click on finish, select the asset, and there we go. So when I go back to my media library, I will see that my eclair is not in the desserts folder, but in the general French cuisine folder. So that's how the media folders work. I hope this feature is going to be useful and enjoy Strapi and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.